Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with again, and we're back for some more EU4 as Prussia continues to expand across the globe. We uh, have a trans- or a, an explorer here, but I don't think he can explore. Oh, there we go, now he can. Good. Circumnavigate the globe. Sure, go for it, buddy. You do that thing. Uh, I don't know if he's going to survive it, but whatever. Three uh, three ships. Um, star forts. Did not realize star forts were already available. Um, we do get a discount with the upgrades. So it's 581, 387, so it's 200 bucks basically to upgrade. Uh, I think we're going to pick the right one. There's some good ones here. Like we'll start in Berlin, of course, because that's just the thing to do, although Berlin is really not a necessary place. Uh, no, we're not going to start yet. The upgrades. Because they're expensive. Very, very expensive. Uh, scouting. Uh, Rival. Yeah, let's get rid of that orthodoxies. Uh, I guess what we're going to do then is consider which forts need to go away. Like this one. We're going to remove some bastions before we build the new ones. Um, we're probably just going to go away as soon as the devastation's gone. Koln is going to deal with devastation in the local area again. Frankfurt is behind the lines, therefore probably not necessary. You are a trade center, which would be suck if we lost control of that area, but not a big deal. Uh, I think we'll keep this guy to occupy Austria when we get into fighting over that turf. Speaking of which, how are we doing? Uh, time, please. Keep going. Uh, how are we doing on... Yeah, we're six years before we can get the next admin tech. And it's going to be eight years before we get the point... Oh no, it's going to be about six years before we get the points to do it, so... In six years, we have to have these territories. That's pretty close. I wonder if maybe we should do that now. Out of Prussia and Naples. Is somebody being protected? Are they protecting somebody? They're not. So it would literally just be a, a straight up attack onto Austria to get their turf. Well, let's go ahead and start building spy network here because um, I need those provinces. I cannot get any of those provinces. That's unfortunate. Uh, Russia, you have land that we want to lay claim to, so let's go and do that. Uh, we're going to go to St. Petersburg, arrogantly so, as the first one. And then the uh, second one we're going to claim is Ingerman land. And then Narva will be next. The Swe oh, French, that's right, they claim to uh, Calais. Good. Really the only province I actually do want out of them. We'll pull you back. England we could go to war with. That would be a valuable war right now. England is, a, is allied with Spain, Milan, and the Iroquois. Spain, Milan, and the Iroquois. If I declare war on him, who, are they all going to join in? I don't know. Ah, that's right. Regency Council. Rejected. Uh, how long on the Regency Council? He's 11. Uh, his inauguration is when... 13th of December, 1646, so we're three years away. Hmm. I guess we just keep this rolling on, you know, pretty quick speed as we can. I'm going to go ahead and look at these spending on these forts next, I think. I think definitely Antwerp is going to need one. We're going to give Berlin one. Truce with French Canada and France has ended. We're going to update the fort here for 193. Soon Zealand is now part of the patrimony. Good. Um, gained a humiliate rival against France again. That's good. The bastion can be upgraded once we get enough cash. How are we doing for cash gains? 1868. I'm going to pause it and see what, it would, what we gain. We could gain another 30 some odd dollars by shutting down the military. Interesting. That would get us some 
very fast fortress purchases. Every five months we get a fort? I think I'm okay with that. What do you guys think? Is that crazy? Like that? Do I get 50 bucks a month? And it takes us a lot to recover. The Regency Council's fault. It's their fault. It's all their fault if we, if we have problems here. Uh, you should be going back in with your group when you see them. Some more cores. Excellent. How are we doing for rebellious issues? We have... Oh, that's beautiful. 10, 20, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Ha ha. Love it. 149,000 manpower. How's our force limit? The force limit is sitting at 188. Soon we'll be able to buy another bastion. Every 50 bucks every month. That's every four months we buy another not bastion, Starfort. I think we'll upgrade this one next. 193 ducats there. Okay, so that's vital for here. We're gonna leave Sashin maybe in place. I don't know. Uh, Cole, I probably won't use them after we take out something like Metz. But I think it's necessary for the next couple of wars. Is Trier not being protected by anybody anymore? Guaranteed by France, France and the Netherlands. Okay. Austria's not doing any guaranteeing, which is really kind of annoying. Um... We, we might break Austria by taking those provinces because they may lose to, they may get involved in other wars. Since they have, let's see the diplomacy situation. Yeah, the Pope, France, and England are rivaling them. Oh, oh yes, high naval attrition. Well, you're not going to survive. No chance you're going to survive that. Are you even going to get another province? I doubt it. Well, Naples has cancelled transferring trade power. You made it through France. Really? Midway Island is owned by France. Interesting. I don't suppose there's anybody that we can befriend along the way. We'll meet. Uh, we're going to meet somebody in the West, uh, Southeast Asia, though, if they get there in time. I don't think they're going to. I think he's going to die in the ocean here. Truce of Sweden has ended. Where are you going, bud? Where are you going? Where are you going? He's like, screw this, I'm going home. What the heck? He's going He's going to try to sail back to Fife. That's not how you circumnavigate the globe, dude. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Fairly certain that's not how the math works. <laughs> All right. Chinook is owned by France, really. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get access to any of this land over here. Maybe. Could we, could we buy uh, fleet basing rights? No. Fleet basing rights. Would you fleet basing rights me? No. Why? Threatened attitude, huh? Their opinion of me is negative. We could uh, fix that, though. I wonder if we could do that in time. Improve relations. Where's my... Well, he's not, he's not under my control anyways. Right? Select mission. No, I can't even cancel his mission. It's a once you're out there, you're out there. Okay, well, he's going to die. That's too bad. Oh, look at that. The cobwebs on it means that it's, it's old school. Interesting. But we're going to keep going on expanding uh, the star forts because that's going to be important. Uh, Spain, Milan, Naples. Those are bigger fights than I want in between when we go after Austria. Because I'd really like to get these turf right away when we hit 20. So do we upgrade that? No, probably not. We can't upgrade their forts for them, can we? Nope. Yeah, Colm will get an upgrade then. You guys are pricey. Ship's lost. Flint Island. Oh well. They're not going to make it. They're just not. That's sad. Conditiary for Kokomas. We're going to need 
fleet basing rights over here somewhere for the next attempt. So let's go ahead and actually try with these guys. There we go. No diplomat. We have no sh no shipbuilding capacity and cannot use those base rights. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Oh, there we go. They would let us. How about them? Threatened attitude. Oh, hello, Austria. Austrian conquest of Valis against France. Oh no, 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 no. That's arg. You know what that's gonna do? If I say no, a, it's gonna hurt our prestige and cause other problems. And b, the moment we do, we'll end up with a truce against a truce with Austria. All right. Well, we'll accept them. We'll help them out. That's sort of really annoying. Okay, so now we, we are in war with France and French Canada. All right. Armies, reactivate, please, before we get curb stomped. That would be lovely. Kind of just going to sit here and hope you guys get your troops back up. There we go. Probably the last ship. Is there still one out there? No, he's gone. Uh-oh. All right, so it looks like we survived that. I don't see any uh, any bad effects. We survived that uh, crash. Uh, sandboxy, uh, dual boxing sort of uh, software. It, it works great. It's interesting. It decided it was going to update. Popped up a message telling me I want, it wanted me to uh, click yes to update. And in the process, crashed U4. Uh, but I like it. It saved. I like the fact that it's still working. That's good. We've got... We're right at the exact spot because our guys have... Uh, we're in our war against France. These stupid jerks in the Netherlands still with their troops. I mean... Uh, you know. Problems. Let's grab uh, the siege guy. Over here, and you can head down to Alsace. You can grab the other, I don't know, this guy, the big fighter guy. He can go over to. No, he can't. You can go over there. Come down. Oh, Metz is no longer a fortress. They seem to have abandoned their fortress. Okay. Interesting. Uh. The Netherlands is not giving access through... Okay. Alright, that's fine. I guess that works if you're not going to do it. You guys go over here, group up. And let's dump off on there. We need to actually grab a general as well. I like it. Okay. You can come down this way. We don't need you to hang out up there for the war. Austrian troops like mad coming out here. Oh, and encroaching on the nobility. The nobility is just grabbing up too much turf. Sorry, but no. I don't like that. I do not like that you're trying to gain your influence here. You're just going to have to just deal with it, mister. Recruit a conquistador. Interesting. Got it with that. They gain influence from it. No thanks. Alright. Go away. I don't care that you're upset. You call, You brought it on yourself. Trying to claim my, my territory and control of... Internal control, you silly, silly knigget. Hey, we gotta get that fort down before we can get through. Is he the four siege? He is the four siege general. He's the master seizure. That's sep seizure. Fourteen percent already. You guys come on in here as well. We're gonna run fifty K stacks, I think, for this war. Or close to it. Like have them in the background is fine, but uh, are these forts up 
that fort is not necessary anymore, right? Once that is gone, once the uh, devastation in the area is gone, we're going to drop that fort. And I think we're going to drop this one too. I think we are. Unnecessary. Big giant star forts in specific key locations. This is going to be one that we're going to keep, so we'll upgrade that one. Riga, because it's the front of the Russian front. This one is the northern choke point. We've got uh, um, Antwerp, which is probably going to remain permanent. Koln, which is here for the time being. I think maybe we'll leave him. We're going to pull him back, because I don't really feel like it's necessary for us to upgrade that. And that's it for fortresses, I think. Yeah, pretty sure that's going to be it for fortresses. How are we doing for our colonialism here? Uh, we got Munster Separatists. You are going to pop. Those are not. Those are not. Guadeloupe Colonists, how far are you along? You are just about there. We're going to recall you and send you up to the place that they want us to colonize, up here in Erksfjord. Erksfjord. Up there. 205 days for you to get there. That's fine. Um, French occupation. No, we've occupied French territory. Okay. You can now go ahead and through to this province. And you're going to come up here. And you're going to come down here and sit nearby. Okay, you guys are almost done there. I'm okay with the 50k units hanging out there because... Let's go siege that, or uh, blockade that, because you guys are definitely going to deal with uh, more likelihood of finding troops. Benign Neglect. Wismar gets uh, bonuses for a few years. Uh, manpower, sure. New Idea Group, excellent. That increases our colonial range by 50%. Working our way through that tech group. We are way behind time on uh, Diplo, but that's okay. We'll catch up quick afterwards. So who's... It's just still just French and French Canada, huh? Alright. I suppose we could send some troops up to mess with the French Canada guys, huh? But I don't know. I don't know if that's necessary. Siege out a few spots here. I'm going to end up giving all this turf to Austria for sure that I don't want. I will keep uh, anything in the English trade node. So these ones here. So let's, let's actually go up here. Right click go there and say I want... I want this. No, what the heck? This one? There we go. I want this. No! No. How can I not? Why am I not able to claim this? Okay. I select. No, that's not me. That's why. No, why is this not working? There we go. This is the turf I want. That was really way too hard to do. Uh, da, 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 and that. That's five and those three, good. And then I'm going to go ahead and claim interest on all of England as well. Oops. I want all of this. I am interested in your territory. I have a very distinct interest in all of your territories. Okay, thank you, goodbye. And actually, I genuinely want this as well. Oh, can't, can't claim that as vital interest because I'm at war with them on, the, on their side. They're my ally. Okay. 57% chance. Come on. Come on, Calais. Good. Calais broke. Good. There. And there. We're just going to walk through this. Actually, yeah, we're going to walk through this relatively slowly. Where is he going? Is he going up to uh, attack in Liège? He's got 31,000 dudes. He's going to get himself... Oh, that is now transportable, isn't it? No, it's not. He's going to get himself in over his head if he attacks. He is going to attack. Okay. Okay, if you feel like that's a smart idea, buddy. Yeah, the fight is on. Come on, guys. 
Can you make it up here as well? Nope, you can't. Okay. Nope, you can't do that either. Right, go here. He's got 34,000 troops. See if he can... I wonder if he's going to bring in any more. You, uh... Boot up. Go there. Nope, we're just absolutely rolling. They can't handle the morale. That's the problem. Friesland. You guys need to come up and hang out in Friesland. Take care of the separatists. <laughs> Good riddance sends off the core. That's funny. Alright, that uh, probably brings us to near the end of this episode. We have to... Yeah, let's go bring them actually in, right down into both of them. Right down into Paris. They have troops sitting in Paris with a, with a grand surprise. Conversion successful. And new converts somewhere. I don't care whichever place gets clicked next. Uh, Friesland has not got their troops in yet. You're going to go ahead and grab a leader. Not sure which one. Are these both leadered? No, they're not. Let's group up so you can take less attrition there. We need somebody to win a siege here so that we can get a leader to send to this guy. Or we can just hire a new one. Colonial Ventures. Naval Improvement. Diplomatic Technology or... Diplo technology costs more. Heavy ships cost more, light ships cost more, and Diplotech is cheaper. We'll do that. Although I'm probably not going to do Diplotech right now. Should have done it the other way. That's unfortunate. Uh, do we go ahead with another leader? We are, we are short a leader here, so let's go ahead and grab him. Sounds good. Friesland. Spawn. Or kick him out of the country. Guadeloupe. Colony is self-sustaining now for prestige. Doomsday in the in the neighbors. Oh, that's too bad. Not at all, actually. So we got this colonized. England seems to be wanting more turf here. Did they finish up that one? They sure did. So that's two provinces and a colony that we can take from England when we get to war there. How are we doing up north here? Very slow. 21% chance of new settlers every month. That would be 25 new settlers. Each time that succeeds, and 55 a year. So it's going to be a while before that colony is ready. Uh, where is the show? The colony itself. Colonies. Uh, Bayamo is... Eh, 554. That's good. I'm going to actually talk to you guys, and I'm going to recall that diplomat and send him over there. So he'll finish up that colony first, hopefully. We have Diplo. We can get a new colonist, not till number six. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we made friends over in the uh, west there, west side of Peru. Uh, Russia. What were we talking to Russia about? Ah, yes, fabricating claims. Narva. Thank you very much. And I think we're going to recall that guy at this point. We can fabricate a claim on this province, which is Ingrostad. That's probably going to upset our ally. You think, maybe? A little? Lots of fighting going on in the south. Not much going on up north. I wonder why. we got giant stacks of dudes. Uh, we got to put in a cut here, though. We're going to continue our... Uh, are assisting of Austria here. Ugh. Ugh. Bad timing, Austria. That's what it is. Bad timing. We will uh, tend to that, however, soon. Uh, we could um, maybe put in some more money makers here. That would be good like that. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. We are at war here, however with Trier, or with France, so Trier cannot be supported by... Oh, we're in a Regency. Never mind. Alright, so next time, not sure. We just finished the Siege of Paris. That was quick. That was very quick. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and siege down some turf. These 85% and 78%, very long, drawn out situations there. That's unfortunate. But we'll go ahead and uh, siege this all up and give some help to Austria while they claim all this turf here. I don't know what they actually want. Walls. Wallace, that's the one they're going for, Wallace. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll give them give them as much assistance as we can. I guess we hand them access of to Paris as well. But that'll be it. Thank you so much for joining me, and as always, we'll see you in game.